The celebration of one of Nigeria's foremost and highly respected preachers, Pastor Enoch Adejari Adeboye, continues after he turned 80 earlier this month. This time is a turn of students, teachers, and parents of Christ the Redeemer's ministry to honor the life of the respected preacher. And that celebration of Daddy Gio, as he's fondly called, is our focus on this episode of the program. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jeffrey Uzongo. <laughs> Christ the Redeemer School Management, CRSM, the education arm of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, held its Redeemer's Day with lots of fun fair. This is the first time the schools under the Redeemed Christian Church of God will be coming together physically to celebrate since the pandemic limited social gathering. It's a multiple celebrations, including the 70th anniversary of the redeemed Christian Church of God, the 80th birthday of the general overseer of the church, Pastor Enoch Adejaria Deboye, and the 40th year of the ministry's national convention held at the Redemption Camp, Moe Inogun State. Students, teachers, and educationists from the Redeemed Christian Church of God across the country converge at the camp for the celebrations. Dressed in colorful attire, the children who have come from different parts of the country were happy to be part of this memorable event. The wife of the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Mommy Folu Adeboye, sets the tone for the day. In honor of the Almighty God, for His faithfulness, His goodness, His mercies that has been enduring over the years, over our daddy, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Who turned 80 years, March 2nd this year. If you are clapping, please clap for the Lord. <laughs> the Bible tells us in Psalm 103, Psalm 103, I just want you to know why we are here. 
we are not here of our own. We are here for God and to celebrate him on behalf of our daddy. And the Bible tells us in Psalm 103, verse 1 and 2, say, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. That is why we are here. We are here as children of our beloved daddy coach, divisioner of CRM schools, to bless the Lord on his behalf because we don't want to forget all his benefits. That is why we are here today. The school started by the vision that God gave him. Immediately, he was appointed as the general overseer of this wonderful great commission. He told everybody that day, as part of his response, that he would start a school where godly parents, godly teachers will be teaching, and there will be none of the god, ungodly teachers. I looked at him on the stage that day. God, um, schools, primary school, you've never taught in the primary schools before. But one thing that is good is that where there is vision, nobody will perish. And we thank God for this vision that God gave to him. And by the grace of God, one small girl caught the vision. And God helped that small girl to expand the mission, the vision up to today. We started with a little, little with our little faith, with the crutch, then finally the school was established. For 12 years, we had only one, I mean, one crutch and reception and two primary schools. And after that one, the Lord led it in my heart to call some people together. And that is why we have what we call this, the Christ Redeemer School Movement members today. If you are around, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. And ever since, these movements, they have been on their toes. They took division, and with all their hearts and with all commitments, we have been moving. We were not stagnant. Today, we are really, really grateful because as the vision was expanding, we have to share it with our regional pastors and their wives, provincial pastors and their wives, who took it seriously with all commitments and today, we have well over 300 schools through their own contribution. We are grateful. Organized accordingly, a Thanksgiving parade by over 300 schools under the RCCG is considered special as the children file out in appreciation for this year's celebration. Full of appreciation, as Pastor and Pastor Mrs. Adeboye moved to the Art and Science Exhibition.
prayer at the exhibition home in the name of the Father Amen. and of the Son Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Afterwards, Pastor Deboye and his wife, Pastor Mrs. Fulua Deboye, moved to the Art and Science Exhibition Pavilion. Churches all over. and now we have about we have the Church of God parishes in about 109 countries in the world. This is our super fragilistic SVR Indosha's that <laughs> 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 daddy Enoch Adejari Adeboye was born on Super Moses Adeboye and Mama Esther Adeboye on March 2nd, 1942. And before he went to secondary school, he had uh, because of the state of his parents, they didn't want to further his education, but Adadi uh, went on a hunger strike <laughs> and it worked out for his good. Because in the year 1956, he attended Elisha Grammar School in Elisha Ocean State and in the same uh, secondary school, he had lost his father. So in the year, and he graduated in the year 1960 when he wore his first pair of shoes. So our daddy in the year 1961 was a teacher at LA Modern School. Okay, Igbo, if you know, <laughs> Community <laughs> Grammar School and Ondo Boys High School. And this is our daddy as a teacher in Ondo Boys High School. Daddy Joe is one of the most respected and notable people in, in, in society today. And he has blessed a lot of people, so we wanted to use this project to, to a way of, as a way of appreciating him for what, the impact he has made in society at large. Super califragilistic expeditious is actually an adjective that is used to elevate someone. When there, when there are no more words to be used to elevate someone, you use super califragilistic expeditious. Um, we use this for that job because he has, he has used, we, all, all adjective has been, he has surpassed all adjectives in the world. This is the leftover adjective that we can use for that, our daddy in the Lord, that Jew. Um, I will be short of words and out of breath if I try to describe him using all the regular adjectives. So in an attempt to put it all into one word, one nice word, we decided to come up, well, it's not really an addition, um, a word in uh, the movie, um, Mary Poppins. It's the only way to describe something that is wonderful and the word is supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Daddy's age actually challenges me as an individual. Um, and I see that it's all based on the work he does for God. His, his life, his focus is what keeps him very young. Daddy's focus keeps him very young. And he's focused on just one thing, lighting up the entire world, the universe for Jesus Christ. And for me, as a kingdom educator, um, that's my goal too. But mine is based in just a classroom with children. Um, when I came into uh, the CRSM schools, I came from a secular school background. I was trained as a secular school teacher. But when I discovered God's purpose for education, kingdom education, I realized that, wow, there's a lot of work we need to do. Like mommy said to us uh, last night, and she repeated it again today, that when daddy said there was going to be an educational system from crash to university where the, there are godly teachers, it was a tall order. And believe you me, we're still working on it. Because at the moment, all the teachers we use, we have to retrain them because there are no kingdom teachers available. We are training them one little teacher at a time. And that's what CRSM does. We're training our teachers to become the godly teachers, to become the kingdom-focused teachers, teachers who can train children to have a biblical worldview. In other words, children who can think biblically. The fact is, everything in life starts from a dream. You, if you can imagine it, you can get it. And so we want to catch them young. We want our children to dwell on that creative aspect of their lives. And so we want them to dream big and get it big by God's grace. Pastor E.I. Deboye got his first degree in mathematics, his second degree in hydrodynamics, and his doctorate degree in mathematics. 
And of course, over the years, that Pastor Adiboye has developed formulas, equations, you know, of, of different equations, using his uh, knowledge, his expertise in mathematics. And we have worked with the students to, you know, to, uh, conceptualize and produce this as a mathematical representation. And we developed a hydro detector also to portray his background as in hydrodynamics. The Vice Chairman of Channels Media Group, Dr. Shola Momo, joins the CRSM family in celebrating a man she describes as a true Christian. Mommy said when Daddy was ordained, right there, he made a commitment that he was going to establish schools. That's quite prophetic. Because if you see any ministry, any institution, any family, and you want to see the future, you have to look for the children. And so it's really wonderful. Children, we are so proud of you. We love you. And we know that you are going to do great things and do exploits for the Lord. Uh, Daddy, what can we say? You are not just an inspiration. You are a light. You are an embodiment of wisdom. You are the example of a Christian and for the Christian walk. And we rejoice with you that you have kept the faith and that you continue to blaze the trays and show those of us coming behind that this is the way to go, the way of Jesus. And we are so, so proud of you, and we love you, and we thank you, and we thank God for giving you this jewel of inestimable value. She is your rock. And you continue to be the wind behind her sail. Congratulations, Daddy. Congratulations, Mommy. Some of your children, young children, when they came to pay tribute to you. They said we are celebrating your hundredth year. That's a prophecy right there. This calisthenics dance put together by 565 pupils from five schools is born of meaning. It soon reveals birthday wishes to an achiever at 80. They have just formed Daddy Gio at 80. They have just formed Daddy Gio at 80. God bless you, children. Thank you very much. God bless you. Daddy Gio at 80. <laughs> then comes a presentation of awards for excellence in sporting activities. to be here with the children to see what the Lord is doing. We serve a great God and this is a manifestation and evidence that we do so. There's no doubt anywhere if there is a doubt 
let us know. So thank you so much. The children have been wonderful from all over Nigeria. Redeemer's Day was first marked at the Redemption Camp in the year 2000, following a significant increase in the number of schools. <laughs> As general overseer, he discussed his idea to have schools established by the CRSM, by the RCCG, schools where there will be no, no uh, strikes, schools where there will be no secret calls, schools where there will be no breaks, no intimidation, no harassment of any kind, and where brilliant children will receive help even if their parents could not afford to pay their fees. So that's the vision upon which CRSM is founded, where one of the major challenges has been funded, because the core vision of the church is to preach the gospel. You know, in the process of preaching the gospel, we need a lot of money, and to set up a good school, you also need a lot of money. But God has been gracious through the commitment and resourcefulness of our Father in the Lord, Daddy Gio and Mommy Gio, God has continually been providing to meet the needs of the church in the former education sector. We want to thank God that today uh, our schools are doing fine. Uh, our students are very good ambassadors because the vision is to produce children that are not only not just knowledgeable but have proven character so that it will be a blessing to their generation. There are some places where schools are established on the basis of a missionary effort, whereby the mission has to sponsor, has to food the bill. Total 100%, in some cases 50%. But we want to thank the Almighty God for the results. The celebration was decentralized and has since been hosted by regions in different parts of Nigeria since 2016. <laughs> The vision we started with a crutch over 20 years ago has grown to become an educational institute of the redeemed Christian Church of God with over 300 schools spreading across the six geopolitical zones. Vidma High School is a very great school in which Mami Joe built. Like, there are fantastic things, the airline skills, I mean the dance steps are just so interesting, the knowledge, the teachers, although some of them are strict, but it's for our own good. And I'm also wishing that the joy, happy 80th birthday, long life and prosperity, it will clock more ages, ages and ages. The Redeemers High School is a, actually a very nice school. The subjects are very intriguing and they are very educating. And we have a lot of clubs in the school that educate us about different things. My own club is Press Club, because I like to be, I would like to be a newscaster. Let somebody give me a J, L, an O, beautiful R, and a fantastic white glory. <laughs> Then the thanksgiving by Momia Deboye and the entire board of the Christ the Redeemer School Management. Is God do mercy of God? No man's energy because no man shall prevail by his own strength. It's just God that has taken control. 
and he has blessed us and with many people and has sent down helpers to us. Apparently, people love education, most especially when it becomes free. Because most of them, like the Koma Hill that I'm talking about, yes, God has been sponsoring that fee for the past 40 years. All since today, I didn't know what pushed me there. But it's total schooling, from socks to pants to underwear to no school fees, everything. We just encourage them to be paying one one thousand. Secondary school children pay one one thousand. And yet they sit for a while. They sleep in the house, but they have they eat to this family. We pay teachers. We bought buses to help them travel. Eh? So it's, it's sacrifice. It's a man, I always call him a stubborn achiever. Whatever he says he wants to do, he will do it. I'm wishing him God's mercy. The mercy that have pushed him thus far will push him forward. And God is a good God. It's Alpha and Omega. It will not leave him beside the road. It will help him to finish well. Let him be well with this, your children. As they go back, Lord, please go with them. All the way home, let there be miracles. Let there be signs. Let there be wonders. And that's it on this episode of the program. Thanks for your time and, of course, your usual company. I'm Jeffrey Uzongo.